Hey guys, Rob Mitchell here. Thanks for joining me for this day trading with Smart Trade Entry Assist, the Smart Lightning Fast Day Trading Executions. I'm going to show you how you can manage your trades while you're day trading so it takes a lot less of your attention and your energy so you can keep yourself focused on the things that are important while you're trading. Um, first off, uh, past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. There's a risk of loss trading futures. Don't use the grocery money for trading, yeah? Um, Smart Trade Entry Assist is a powerful ninja trader, chart trader upgrade for day traders that can markedly enhance your trade entry and management capabilities. It makes it possible to manage any kind of order entry, entry order in conjunction with the resident ninja trader ATMs automated trade management to place it in advance of the trade with extreme speed. It has many powerful features and capabilities. We've been about a year in the making and uh, refining of these with many well thought out features and refinements. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate a really cool day trading strategy, systems and signals. Uh, I've got special day trading strategy system chart template bonus for you at the end of the video. So stay tuned to the end. I think you're going to like it. Uh, initially, this tool, Smart Trade Entry Assist, was developed using the Smart Renko and Smart Super Renko custom price bars from Indicator Smart, and um, it can use it can work powerfully with any bar type. Yeah, this is especially relevant for bar types that can complete at any price, and particularly ones that complete at any price uh, relatively quickly. So, for example, if you use the ultimate tick bars or the ultimate order flow bars from Indicator Smart and other bar types, you can place the order. And what it will do is it will track the bar to the closing event and place the order lightning fast with the limit, stop limit, or stop it of your choice. Yeah. Or MIT orders as well. This is a huge capability upgrade for traders who operate in fast moving conditions. Yeah. Uh, so Ninja Trader 8 Chart Trader Upgrade. Yeah, it works in conjunction with your chart trader and your favorite ATM's automated trade management strategies to the resident Ninja Trader. It adds the following functions to the chart trader panel. Yeah. And I'm going to go over these buttons on here, these CCPC last buy sell. Um, your offset for your um for your stop or your uh, controls, and you can increase or decrease an, uh, an order um, uh, modification while you go, yeah. So you see those buttons CC is for the current close. If you want to place your trade with reference to the current close, which is usually how I use it, um, what'll happen is I'm waiting for the current bar to close because I know that that will be a trade entry, yeah or the prior close, sometimes I'll I'll uh, click, I, I can double click CC or I can uh, click PC. And if I wait until the bar has completed and just do it from there, or you can do it from the last price. Uh, beneath these buttons, there's a order. Uh, you can set the order by clicking buy and sell, and that will initial, initiate the sequence for the order that you've chosen based on the CC, the PC, and last buttons, yeah. So for speed, you can toggle that, as I just mentioned, the CC and the PC by clicking it a second time. That makes it super fast, yeah. The next section enables you to set the order off ticks, offset ticks. For example, if I set it to a minus one, I'm doing a stop limit order, it will, uh, upon being hit, it will move it to a limit, yeah. And so this is great for getting discounts. Smart Trade Entry Assist is capable of limit, stop limit, stop, and MIT order. So any kind of order you want to do, it can do it. You can then use the increase or decrease buttons to modify your order price. Yeah, up or down. That's a nice uh, feature. You can also cancel or close it. This also applies to pending orders, but existing orders as well. So like if I get into a position and I want to cancel the whole thing and, and get out of the trade, just click the button, boom, it takes care of all of it. Uh, all these capabilities combined enable you to place your trades in the future, which also helps keep your trading focus where it belongs and not fuddling around with a lot of now unnecessary keystrokes when you have the tool 
to get your trade orders placed and managed. I really like it because it also cancels your orders if the condition for the entry is not met. The implications of this should not be underestimated. People say uh, who use this tool, once you do it, you'll always want to use it. You know? So there's nothing like it. Um, smart trade entry assist also on, on the internal features. I showed you the ones on the chart trader itself. You can also, uh, there's, you can show or hide the resident buttons to customize your chart trader. I like to just leave the other ones on there because I do use them in conjunction with it. But if you don't, you can remove them for a, a cleaner look. You can set the stop limit offset to prevent the potential for runaway trade mis-executions. That's a really cool feature. It can cancel your order automatically if desired. If the bar closes with certain conditions, it can also cancel the order if it closes away from the intended trade direction. That's what I was just saying. So you can pretty much set and forget it. Yeah. And then you can keep your, um, your energy focused on uh, where it belongs on uh, keeping an eye on your chart and not fuddling around trying to place orders. It can replace working orders and do cancel replace and it can do OCO orders or bracket orders as they're sometimes called. It can do market if touched orders. You just do all these things in the internal settings. You can do stop market orders. It can reference to trade events like a bar close of any desired offset and you can speed scroll the offsets. That's a, a cool feature as well. If you want to change the offset, you just hover over it and hit your scroll wheel and you can set the offset to that number like lightning fast. It has a variety of speed keys to speed adjust to various levels around the intended trade. Um, now, uh, Smart Trade Entry Assist works in conjunction with your resident and trader ATM. As previously mentioned, we do not provide ATMs. We don't provide them. Uh, they're easy to set up though and use in NinjaTrader's documentation can be found under the help guide in your NinjaTrader control panel menu or here on that link that you see there in yellow. Yeah. And a whole heck of a lot more. Yeah. So let's take a look at a cool day trading system before we go on to the chart and taking some trades with the assistant. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to take some trades in the ES E-mini futures using a form of pattern that we've taught in our trading rooms for nearly 10 years. Many have become pro traders using this pattern. We've even had people go on to be hedge fund managers who learn this pattern first. And either they trade it or they use it as a stepping stone to other methods. I teach this method first for that reason, because it helps, if a little spelling there, yeah, it helps you to develop a framework in which you can understand markets and the way they move. So if you look, if you start uh, with this type of a pattern, it makes it possible for you to learn other patterns more easily. And that's why I love this pattern. It's called the T2 pattern using the smart momentum. You can also do T2 patterns with the uh, trap trader oscillator. But we're going to do it with smart momentum here. We're going to use a trap trader oscillator for something else. It involves trading with intact market structure, which the momentum is going opposite to the price cycle. And you'll see some examples of that as we go in there. This can be confirmed with order flow with the trap trader oscillator advance going with for a powerful combination. I'm gonna and I'm gonna show you how to do that. These day trading tools are available at Indicator Smart. Yeah. So uh, the trades that I'm going to show you, I'm going to use the Smart Trade Entry Assist in the way that I generally use it. You might use it a little bit differently. As mentioned earlier in this video, you can set for stops, stop limits, limits, uh, market if touched orders uh, with any kind of offset that you want. And the, then the cancel capabilities makes it extremely powerful. So uh, you can take advantage of those advanced capabilities and order types in the way that meets your specific needs. So I'm going to do the trades in playback mode so you can see it in action. And I also, uh, so that it, if you want to see, I don't uh, necessarily specifically use this in the uh, trading room or anything like that, but um, uh, but to have it in action, I, I'll edit it a bit so it doesn't, so we're not sitting here for three hours watching the uh, chart tick by. Yeah. So let's look at smart trading entry assist in action right now. Yeah. 
So uh, here's the chart uh, to familiarize you with this. I have the Smart Trap Trader Oscillator in panel two. I've got Smart Superenco in uh, panel one. Got smart price bands here to help uh, see the structure. And then I have the Smart Dynamic Envelopes from uh, Indicator Smart with the Smart Momentum fit into it. And I have this set up in such a way that it will show you where you are in a form of a type to um, uh, kind of a, a pattern. Yeah, and so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and then I'm going to try and enter this on the current close. You can see that the you have the offset there. I got a minus one offset right there. Minus one offset. And you can see that that background color is turning green there. The background color is turning green, but this has broken these dots over here. So I don't want to fire that yet. I don't want to fire it when it's when this one's going in the wrong direction. I want this one going in the wrong direction. I want this one going in the right direction. This one's the order flow. This one is the momentum. So I'm going to wait for it. Yeah. And then I see this setting up here. I'm going to place my order there. If it goes down a little bit further, it'll cancel the order. It'll cancel the order. But as long as this upside structure is staying intact, if it comes up, it will execute it there uh, at a one tick discount. Let's see if it grabs it. Oop, there it grabs it. Okay, first off, a little bit further, moving the trailing stop up. I got one contract left out of the three that I started with. That's two bars into the trade. I think I have the third one set at uh, uh, 15 ticks on this ATM. Yeah, and there it took the third one, yeah. Let me step forward and find the next trade for you, and uh, we'll uh, take it from there. Yeah. Okay, I marked that last one here in uh, trade markers, and then I got this next one setting up. And I, so you can see the background's green there, and I'm just looking for um, I'm looking for a higher hook. You can see that this one broke right there. I'm going to look for a higher hook. I could go ahead and place that. I could go ahead and place that, and we'll see if it's uh, if it's going to uh, catch that, or if it'll reset. On one of these, you'll see it automatically cancel the order. And like I said, what's really nice about um, Trade Entry Assist is um, um, it'll manage that for you, so you don't have to sit there with your finger on a button waiting for, you know, if it's going to cancel or something. Okay, it's picking this up. You can see the trap trader oscillator is higher on this one. You know, that background is green. If you wanted to, you could set a strategy to have it uh, pick it up on a closer limit. Okay, it it, uh, um, it executed the uh, first one. Let's see if it's going to follow through. As I usually don't demonstrate things this way um, because it can take a while. And if you know if you don't want to see this, you can uh, forward the video to the end. And I can forward the video to the end.
I'm uh, hoping to uh, show uh, some of the different capabilities. I have not gone over these trades in advance, so I, I really don't know what's going to uh, happen with them here. I am using the playback mode. No. If you wanted to, you could have uh, added a contract there if you wanted or uh, anything that you wanted to do with that. And depending on how your ATM is set up, it might manage that in different ways. Yeah. Oh, this one's going in slow mo. And there's the second contract off. Let's see if it'll make it to the third one. You could take these for more. I just happen to have this uh, set to this particular ATM. I didn't want these trades taken any longer than was necessary. And there it goes. Let's go uh, find the next one. I'm going to mark that with trade markers also. Okay, I uh, I marked that last one on trade markers. I don't know why it shows that one as negative because it sure wasn't. Oh, there it goes. Um, and we'll see uh, how this one sets up. You can see that the background is green. And um, I'm watching the uh, trap trader oscillator if it's going to uh, set this up or what it's going to do. You probably could have done that one if you wanted to also, um, but I didn't. Let's see if this one's going to catch it. I had only filled one of the uh, three contracts. So uh, what will happen is if it goes up there and it grabs that, it's going to take that first one off. It's going to end up being a scalp, and it took the rest of the trade off. Now, I could re-enter if I wanted to. I would just go um, prior close, and I could say buy and re-enter if I want to. See if it'll grab me. Now, I could take that to uh, zero. No, nope, I missed it. So I can cancel close it. Yeah, This is the kind of things I wanted to show you, how I can manage that if it doesn't get the full fill. Ended up being a successful trade, but it just scalped it out for 50 bucks. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at, um, let me see if we get another green or a red. Yeah. Let's see what we got on this one. I'll do this one at the uh, prior close and see if it gets picked up there. Um, as I was uh, saying in the earlier part of the video, if you click these, you can toggle those. And it's, um, I discovered that that was very, uh, very quick. Now on um, on this marker, uh, this uh, showing that it uh, took it out. But if if I didn't have this ATM that takes that off real quick, um, it would have let that uh, would have let that one breathe. Yeah. But it, it had that uh, break even um, stop uh, went pretty quick, and so it took it off pretty quick. Yeah, so we have an entry here I can mark in trade markers. It's developing, so it hasn't shown the uh, profit yet, profit or loss. Okay, that's the first contract coming off. There's the second contract. There are a whole bunch of different uh, methods you can do with these smart dynamic envelopes on the smart momentum. This is just one of them. This uh, I chose this uh, T2 pattern for this video because these um, have really stood the test of time. Like I said, we've been doing them for, well, I've been doing them for a lot longer than 10 years, but we've been doing them publicly for uh, more than 10 years. Let me see. 
Um, um, we might have another one setting up here. I want to make sure that that, uh, I want to make sure that that, uh, um, Prep trader oscillator is going with me, and I want to make sure that I haven't broken that one by more than a, a bar there. But as long as this is down, so I'm going to watch for it to trap out for the shorts that get in there. If it's going to be a long trade, that background's green. The background's green. Um, and then if I get this one higher, um, okay, it's turning red now. Uh, maybe we're going to be doing a sell here if it uh, goes lower. Yep. yep. That happened pretty quick. See, you, you if if that had happened and you didn't have this kind of capability, um, you just wouldn't have been able to do that. That was like a fraction of a second that the trade set up. Um, yep. And there it goes. One, two, three. Yep, one, two, three. Let's see if, I'm, if we can find another one. Is this gonna be inside if it goes back down? This will be inside. Oh, wait a minute, it's green. Let's see what happens. Uh, this is uh, a little bit fast for, for me. This is possibly a cell setting up. Uh, this broke here. Could have sold that one. That was inside. Could have sold that one. Um. This is above, so I'm not going to uh, do anything with that. I'll have to wait for it to trap. It's still red, but this one outside. There's a whole nother uh, class for uh, for that. Hey, that background turned green. You could consider selling those too, but I'm only doing them with the background. That'll probably follow through. Okay, this is the buy and it's going with. Oops, I didn't get that in time. I didn't get that in time. I have this plan at 10x. So that's uh, that would have been a trade right there. I knew it would have had plenty of time to do that. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't uh, didn't catch that one in time. I could still mark that on there though. Um, let's see if we're going to pick up another. I won't uh, generally do those when they broke there, but you could have, you could have trade that if you'd use this original point as the reference, but normally I won't do that if it broke. A lot of times you have this, uh, this region where there's uh, two of them there, and then you come back into it in the order flow. I was hoping that we could find one where it would cancel. Um, uh, on the order where it didn't fill, but this system's too good. Um,
But um, so this is also a good uh, discussion uh, for this uh, point too, is that um, when we're uh, doing this sort of thing, is staying true to your method. Yeah, because you know I'm looking at this. There's all kinds of trades, um, but this uh, is a simple uh, system using the four quadrant uh, design methods. Let's see if I can not be behind the curve on this one. I'm playing this at 10x, so. Now, I don't sell that because it's the structures uh, going up, the immediate structures going up. So I'm only doing those. Let's see here. This is down here. Well, let's see if this traps for uh, a long trade a little bit higher. Now it goes higher here. It'll be one. Whoop, shoot. And there it goes. Now, do you see how fast that was? You, If, if you weren't, um, if the market was moving like this, um, you never would have been able to do that. Um, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> You'd have to be pretty fast. So, um You'd have to be pretty darn fast. No, so uh, we have this one here. I call this pattern a one, one, two. We just love these. No. We just love these guys. Anyway, we don't we don't have to do the whole day unless you um, might want me to, but um i won't i won't do those like that uh, but you can do those yeah you can uh, do those where there are these little uh, micro oops i don't like that trade marker i don't like that um Let's see if we're going to pick up uh, another one of those trap uh, trap ones. If it goes ABC higher, well, it turned red again. Um, so if we get one down. Uh, that would be the trade. Yep. Boom. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's basically the pattern on this system. Red background. Yeah. Red background. Lower trap trader oscillator. I love it. Let's see if um, see if another one sets up. It'll be a sell for now. Let's see if it uh, hooks and traps. No, it's going green. Shoot, <laughs> I was too late on that one. I have this played. At, this is at like ten x, guys. So <laughs> I didn't know if we had another one in there. Yeah. This one, I should have been able to get this one at this. No, you would have been able to do that if you had. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this will give you an example of uh, if it doesn't go to my, no, it, it did it. Yeah. So either way. Um,
Okay, let's see what might be in play here. Now, you know, that, that background's red, but I want to see it going down. See, it's going up against the red background. That's a whole other animal. Yeah, so we'll see if it turns green or if it turns red. I don't know what, it's, what it might do. I'll set up for on bar close. Now, there's the green one, and it's higher. Yeah. I don't uh, often always like to do do those that turn that abruptly, um, but so I might in a case like that also uh, trade fewer contracts. You know, we're doing three on this uh, on this particular ATM, bam! You know, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, we could keep doing these. I, unfortunately, I wanted, I was hoping that it would get a cancel one, but uh, let me explain how that, uh, how that works, guys. Um, if I place that order and um, if I place that, uh, see this, this broke here, so I'm not looking for a long there, background's green, and this is broken below. Um, Um, if I place that order and the bar closes in the opposite direction than, uh, than what it should have, excuse me, uh, it'll cancel it. And there's different uh, different themes and variations on that. Let's see if we're going to get a, a cell here, if this is going to be, no, that's going to be outside. Yeah. So anyways, um, we could keep doing this through the rest of the day. We've gone about halfway through the day here. Let's see if maybe we're going to pick up another one. Um, is this going to be lower? Yeah. Another way of understanding the structural rule that we have for this is three lower red reversals. Now, three lower red reversals. Maybe we're going to get a loser. Maybe we're going to get a loser. Maybe not. Nope. I'm not going to get a loser. Let's do one more, and if it doesn't get the cancel thing that I want you to see, just understand it'll do that for you. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, other functions within here um, that are really awesome um, that you can set for, like I said, MIT, stop limits, stops, limits, et cetera. Uh, but once you get into the, the hang of this uh, toggling between the order flow in the trap trader oscillator and the, uh, the smart momentum, um, with the dynamic envelopes on it. By the way, we just released this dynamic envelopes this last week. Uh, all kinds of things that you can do with this. All kinds of things that you can do with this. I think that you're seeing here that this is a pretty good little system. Yeah. Um, uh, we've racked up here. Let's see if we have, we're red here. We're not, not inside yet. Let's see if it uh, toggles again. I'll see. have my finger on the button ready to go. There are some speed keys in here that you can use. Okay, if it hooks lower, whoop, what happened there? Uh, if it hooks lower, that'll meet the criteria. We'll have it inside here. Now it's going higher. We broke structure. Let's see if it's going to uh, pick one up. I was hoping to get uh, one that would cancel, but you know, if we don't, that's okay. All 
Uh, no, I should have gotten that in there. I'm playing this at 10x. You easily would have been able to get that trade. Easily would have been able to. Now, these where you get this ABC inside, you can do those. But um, for the purposes of this, I'll only do the ones that are intact. Yeah. Yeah, so um, that's uh, that's what I got. We didn't we didn't get the cancel one that we wanted. Um, but uh, like I said, great little system here. So uh, let me go back to the uh, the slides, and um, uh, we racked up uh, a nice one here. A little, little miss execution on this one right here. Um, I'm marking these in uh, smart trade markers. And um, um, I'm marking these in smart trade markers. Oh, there's one. Well, no, I wouldn't do that one. Um, not by the rule we're having here. He would have sold that one. Yeah. Um, I have these uh, stops set pretty tight and uh, uh, break even uh, pretty tight um, on the uh, ATM. And so you can uh, decide to set those a little looser. Uh, or uh, or tighter. So, all right, guys, uh, hold on a second, and I'll go find the slides. Um, okay, we're back. Uh, thanks for um, uh, taking the time with me to show you that. Yeah, to show you the different things. Uh, like I said, I use the playback for that because normally during the day I'm in the um, uh, the trading room is open all day. And I don't have these things running in the trading room, so I do it that way. So uh, I'm going to get you a template uh, for this little trading system here, because if you have these tools, um, you could uh, work with that. Uh, and you might uh, like to have it. It's a good little system. Um, when I design these systems in these videos that I do, um, I use a four quadrant approach that's described in the front uh, pages of indicatorsmart.com. I don't... Um, I've been doing this forever. And so I don't have to spend a lot of time like optimizing or anything like that. I just know it's going to work because uh, we've been doing this forever. But uh, there are just tons of different systems you can do with these tools. The tools that I have on this uh, chart today, I have the Smart Super Renko price bars. I have the Smart Price Bands. I have the Trap Trader Oscillator Advance. That was a major portion. I have the Smart Momentum. That's a major portion. I have the Smart Dynamic Envelopes uh, on the Smart Momentum. Uh, that was giving us the background colors. And I have, of course, the Smart Trade Entry Assistant. Yeah. So um, I'm going to get you a link. If you go to indicatorsmart.com, go to Smart Trade Entry Assistant System, STs, and follow the links there. Um, and that uh, gets you the, um, the link there will get you the template uh, for the setup. Yeah. So um, I would uh, like to thank you for joining me today, for letting me share Smart Trade Entry Assist. Like I said, we've been doing this thing for like a year and all these little details that we worked out. Uh, there's a lot more capabilities than we covered. Um, but uh, if you are trading intraday, I would strongly recommend that you get this tool. Yeah, Thanks for giving me an opportunity to share what I'm passionate about and what I enjoy doing, developing these powerful trading tools and uh, being able to share them with you. Indicatorsmart.com backslash S-T-E-A-S. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next one.